In this lecture, we will throw a dart by using a rigid body component. When user will click on the dart, we will add a force behind the dart. To know when user has tap on the dart, we need to add a collider on back of the dart. So the back collider will be used to detect the touch on the dart on the screen. And when the player will touch on the dart, we will be adding a force on the dart to move forward. For that, we will be using a rigid body component and then we will be disabling the back collider. These are the simple steps we will achieve in this lecture. Let's create a new script name as dart. Import AR foundation. Class name will be dart. Here I'm adding a few variables. We will utilize these in the script. We also need a AR session and AR camera. And later we will utilize dart front collider when we need our dart to be stick to the dart board. Here we find the AR session and AR camera and a rigid body that will be attached to a dart and we also need a dart throw point. Its force is representing as user has tap on the dart and force is applied to the dart. Enable the front glider and start the coroutine of destroy. As after a few seconds we will destroy the dart. Set is kinematic false so force can have its impact. Add force method is used to add a force on the dart. Transform dot forward means we are adding a force in the forward direction. We can add the transform effect using the transform dot rotation. Next, we will create a coroutine with the name of init dart destroy vfx. In this, we will wait for five seconds and then destroy the game object. Basically, when we launch the dart, uh, from that point, it will wait for five seconds and after five seconds, it will destroy the dart. And here is the overview of the script. In the first chunk of this code, we just declaring a variables and gathering the references in the start method. In the fixed update, we are checking if the is force okay. That's mean when the user has tap on the dart, then we are enabling the dart front collider. Starting a core routine in a dart destroy VFX. If the dart does not hit the board, it will wait for 5 seconds in total to destroy the dart. And by making is kinematic is equal to false, we are activating the physics to add a force. And these booleans are used to remember the current state. Making is force ok is equal to false to make user tap on the dart only once. Is dart rotating to know the rotation of the dart status as we will be rotating the dart in the air. And we will stop the rotation once it will hit the dart board by making it false again. At this line, RG is holding a rigid body component of the dart. And here we are applying a force on the dart using add force method. Add force takes two parameter, vector three force and force mode as a mode. Force is the vector in the world coordinate and mode is the type of force to apply. Add a force to rigid body. Force is applied continuously along the direction of force vector. Specifying the force mode allows the type of force to be changed and acceleration, impulse or velocity. Applied force is calculated in a fixed update. Force can only be applied to an active rigid body. If the game object is inactive, add force has no effect. Also, the rigid body cannot be kinematic. I am multiplying this number with the forward direction and time dot delta time. This is the equation I came up with trying different values to have a balanced force on the dart towards the dart board. Here we are using a transform dot rotate to keep rotating the dart. And here we are making the rotation faster while dart will be in the air. As already discussed, this method will destroy the dart within 5 seconds. Now let's jump back to Unity. Now click on the dart prefab and assign the dart script to the dart prefab. And we also need a front collider of the dart. We will utilize the front collider when the dart hit the board and dart stops at that point. Here in the prefab of dart board, we are assigning the front collider to the prefab. For now, we are disabling the front colliders. Now open the dart controller script and in the update, we will access the current dart script and we will make the is force ok is equal to true. As we have a dart in the scene temporarily, we can test is adding a force behind the dart is working or not. From this play button, we can start the game and see it's moving or not. It's not moving. Make is force OK and test it again. Yeah, it's moving. OK, it's working. As we don't need the dart in the scene, we can delete it. And because we are adding the dart dynamically from the prefab folder, 
As we know, we have a glider a little bit behind the dart. When user will tap on backside of the dart, it will add a force and dart will start moving towards the target. For the physics simulations, we use rigid body on the dart. 